2005, Walthamstow, East London, England. It was here, on the drive, that a man who had gorged himself on three jacket potatoes loaded with cheese and tuna mayonnaise was about to run himself over. If that sentence raises a thousand questions in your mind, good, it f***ing should. The man was Brian Harvey, most known as the supposed lead singer for the band East 17, named for the London postcode in which they met and formed. Now, if you're non-British, this is probably going to be very difficult to explain, but this is British culture around Christmas time. And this is Brian Harvey. Stay Another Day is arguably East 17 and Brian Harvey's greatest known work, bar the story of him running himself over because of jacket potatoes. So now into the meat of the story. In Brian's own words, I was starving so I baked three jacket potatoes and stuffed them down. They were big. I put cheese on, then tuna mayonnaise, and I ate the lot. Afterwards he decided to drive to a friend's house, but got lost in a cul-de-sac and was trying to turn his car around. Brian continues, I came to a stop and put the car in reverse, but then I felt sick, so I took off my safety belt opened the door and went to be sick. Instead of keeping my foot on the brake, it slipped onto the accelerator. Brian's Mercedes took off with the driver's side door still open and Brian hanging out of it. It hit at least one other car, reports vary, some say it hit around five before joining the road. Brian was then thrown out of the car and soon became caught up between the driver's door and a wall. The car was still going backwards and he was forced underneath it. Before we continue, a few quick things. Brian Harvey is okay and has since even appeared in a comedy skit smashing a tuna laden baked potato into a fan's face. I am not here to mock the potentially life threatening injuries that Brian Harvey was faced with. This video should really be viewed as more of a parody of how the media and Brian Harvey himself have dealt with the story which is with humour, which is an incredibly British thing to do. This man nearly died, but what we've tended to do is latch on to the fact that it's due to jacket potatoes and not really viewed it as what it truly is. The story didn't end negatively, actually. Brian himself, as aforementioned, showed great humour around the accident and even said, you have to laugh, really. I'm not religious, but there is definitely someone up there trying to teach me a lesson. He's also credited the event as something that caused him to turn his life around and take account of the things that really matter. He's not eaten a jacket potato since the event, however, and I think that scans. But regardless of all of that, Brian Harvey is definitely an interesting character and one you can only have immense respect for, not only for surviving the freak accident, but also being able to laugh about it afterwards and take positives from it. And that is the true short story of how pop star Brian Harvey ran himself over due to an overindulgence of jacket potatoes. Bye for now.